Hey guys, Jack Opples Pro here, back with another video. Yeah, a new wave of FNAF merch just got leaked. Just as the tie-dye wave came out and I couldn't get any of the plushies because I'm poor because I'm not monetized. So uh, please subscribe, it would really help out a lot. But anyway, enough self-promotion, we have quite a lot of stuff actually. And I'm going to be talking about each one. Okay, so first we got some jumbo plushies, so we got... 10-inch Nightmare Freddy and 10-inch Nightmare Bonnie. Those aren't really jumbos. Though, since I don't have the original Nightmare Bonnie, I might get the 10-inch one, just because of how rare the old one is. I mean, not saying it's any good. I'm probably going to customize it to make it more accurate, but just saying. Then we got a 16-inch candy plushie. If I have some money left over, I might buy it. I said that because, like I said, I'm not monetized, and I'm saving most of my money to get the main plushies, you know, the priority ones. Then, for Valentine's Day, I'm assuming, we're gonna be getting a plush of Blackheart Bonnie. And yes, Blackheart Bonnie from FNAF AR. Not gonna lie, I'm actually pretty excited for it. And when I said that Funko needs to take a break from FNAF AR stuff, I meant that in a way that Funko needs to take a break from making entire waves of FNAF AR characters, cause there are so many other characters that aren't skins that they haven't made, but if they're just releasing like seasonal exclusive for like the holidays and stuff, kinda like how we got Frostbear for Christmas, Chocolate Bonnie for Easter, and Liberty Chica for 4th of July, then I'm okay with that. Blackheart Bonnie is a cool skin, and I think he translates really well into merchandise, especially when it comes to the action figures, which we'll get to later. And then we're going to get Security Breach plushies of new characters from Ruin, so Balloon Freddy, Balloon Bonnie, Balloon Chica, and Balloon Foxy, as well as circus versions of those four. Now, on the leaks, as you might have noticed, all the exclusive ones are marked in blue, I honestly think it's really stupid that they're making the entire, well, almost the entire wave exclusive because it means that people are going to scalp them for extremely stupid prices. And I don't know if you guys have a problem with that, but that's just a personal gripe that I have. But whatever, I mean, they're cool sounding, I, I guess. I I'm not going to be able to play the Security Breach DLC because I had to delete Security Breach to free up space on my computer because Steel Wool did a horrible job compressing it and uh, yeah pretty much. Sorry if I got a bit negative there, but you know, I, I, I need to share my peace of mind sometimes. Alright, and now we got plushies of Moon and Sun, and they are non-exclusive, so yay, we finally get official Sun and Moon merch, and I'm glad that they're actually making them separate, because the problem that I had with U2's Sun plush is that they put both personalities into one plush, which I don't think works that well, so it's cool that we get like separate versions of each one. And, uh, expect a destruction video on the bootleg moon that I have, because these got leaked. Yeah, for this way, probably the only plushies I'm gonna be purchasing are Sun and Moon, the 16-inch Nightmare Bonnie, and Blackheart Bonnie. Because, like I said, I won't be able to play the Security Breach DLC, so I won't have any real connection to those characters. So, uh, yeah, just letting you guys know about that. But, yeah, Moon and Sun, I like Moon and Sun, so I'm getting them. Alright, and then we're gonna be getting... 13.5 inch figures of Freddy and Bonnie. Now, whether I'm getting these, it depends on how, like, much they improve the sculpts, because obviously they're gonna have to make new sculpts to, like, make them bigger, so if they take out the upper teeth and fix the inaccurate colors, then now, I might get these. Though, if they just make them big versions of the normal figures without any other changes, then I won't buy them, so those I'm currently debating until I see the actual designs. And then we have an action figure for Blackheart Bonnie. Again, I'm also really excited for this one. The last time Funko did a Blackheart Bonnie merch was in the FNAF AR Mystery Minis, and they did incredible on him. He translated perfectly into a mini. And I always felt like he would translate really well into a figure too. I've seen edits of him as an action figure, and they look perfect. So hopefully Funko does a good job on him. And if he do, they do do a good job on him, I will purchase this. I really like Blackheart Bonnie as a skin. And I'm glad he's getting some more merch. Alright, so next we're going to gang more Security Breach stuff. And, yeah, for some reason they made all the figures non-exclusive, but all the plushies are exclusive for some reason. It might have just been an error, but I hope that the plushies are at least non-exclusive, because it might increase my chances of buying them. Though I'm probably not going to buy the Ruin stuff, because like I said, I don't have a lot of connection to these characters, because I won't be able to play the DLC. But I'm glad that they're actually giving Security Breach Ruin some love, rather than just doing FNAF AR and recolors over and over again, so... 
While I'm not gonna be buying these, I still appreciate their existence. And yeah, we're going to be getting Sun and Moon figures as well. I will also pick up these. I really like Sun and Moon as characters. I really like the Jekyll Hyde approach. And I'm glad that we don't have to resort to buying freaking bootlegs just to get merch of our favorite characters. Funko is starting to listen to the fans, and that's freaking awesome. Then, we're going to be getting more of those dreaded snaps. Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica, Toy Chica, Security Room, and Exclusive Phantom Foxy. Oh boy, Phantom Foxy. It's probably just going to be a metallic Foxy again. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Alright, then for other miscellaneous stuff, we got a FNAF Foxy Soda. Now, I do own the Beetlejuice Soda, so I'm probably going to be purchasing him. I like the way they did their sodas, and I just like FNAF, so I might get that. Then the Mystery Minis. If they add some characters from the original Security Breach, like Sun and Moon, then I'll probably get those so that I have a chance of getting them. And then the group skateboards. I don't know what Funko was thinking. Those are like, the skateboards are like the cringiest thing ever. Alright, so that concludes today's video. Now, there's a pretty good amount of stuff I'm excited for. There's going to be stuff I'm going to be avoiding, like the ruined ones, the skateboard ones, and of course those horrible snaps. But there's a pretty good amount of stuff I'm going to be picking up, like that Nightmare Bonnie, the 13-inch figures if they change the designs, the Mystery Maze if they have, like, Sun and Moon in them, and of course, Black Heart Bonnie and the Sun and Moon stuff. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one. And it looks like this guy's time is running out.